All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. This is Chad from Cardboard of the Rings. It is January 1st, 2018. Last night was New Year's Eve. That's why my voice sounds like this, because I had a very good time. Um, this is going to be a heavily spoilered type video. So if you are playing campaign mode and you do not want to know uh, anything about the last quest of the campaign, particularly the ending of it, spoilers abound. Do not watch this video if you do not want any spoilers for the Mount Doom quest. Okay, so I'm assuming if you're watching now, you're okay with spoilers. Here we go. I am at the final stage of the final quest of my campaign. Uh, it's quest stage four. I had to first travel to Mount Doom, which I did. And then now I need to clear Mount Doom and then make a fortitude test, which is where you exhaust heroes and then compare their willpower to the eyes that are revealed when you discard cards. I'm going to be discarding one card, because that's how many players are in the game, plus the 10 digit of my threat. And my threat is a comfortable 53, so I'll be revealing, I'm sorry, I'll be discarding six cards. Okay, let's look at my board state, because I need to make nine progress. Uh, I'm on my final round, guys. I started with six rounds. This is it. I'm on my last round. I have to do it. It's my last gasp here. Uh, Gandalf's delay was at the start of my quest. I only could draw five cards instead of six in my opening hand. I've had that card since the Shire. Overcome by Grief was... Uh, I got that one in Moria. But I never had a character get destroyed during this whole quest because I'm going to explain my deck here in a minute. And the whole deck revolves around... Well, you'll see. So that's still up in the staging area. Um, when I got to four... Quest stage four, I had to discard cards until an enemy was discarded, and I discarded the little sh snuffler. Uh, in the staging area, I had <clears throat> the big Uruk, who's at 44, but I'm playing a Hobbit deck. So I had four Hobbit heroes, so he was really a 48, and then I had to raise my threat <clears throat> excuse me, by about, I think, five, and then I played a, a Deep Knowledge. So anyway, um, I didn't have to engage him last round. That's why he's still up there. And then I have two copies of Plane of Gorgoroth, which are uh, each two threat. So that is my staging area. I'm currently engaged with two enemies, one of them being Gollum. I revealed a treachery that made me go find him and put him in play with me. Please uh, take note, Gollum, which, um, okay, two things about Gollum. Number one, best Gollum art, maybe? I love it. I think this is great Gollum art. Um, he also has this asterisk star thing down in the corner. If you discard him during a fortitude test, you're supposed to put him in play. So keep that in mind. That's an easy, easy thing to miss. Uh, I'm also engaged with another little uh, snuffler that I've been engaged with for a while. Uh, to get to this point, I've had to use two of my boons. One is Mr. Underhill, which is one you can use... Oh, I'm getting some reflection. One you can use over and over again, as long as you control the ring bearer. When I say over and over, I mean um, each uh, quest you play. It doesn't get added and taken out of the... It doesn't get added to the victory display and removed from the campaign pool. You can use it once per game. So that helped uh, basically feint a, uh, an attack, which came in very handy one time. Uh, Leaf Wrapped Lembus I got in Lorien. And I have to say, I chose the right one. This card saved my butt. Being able to ready all your heroes when only heroes can commit to fortitude tests, I think I made the right choice here. Um, unknowingly. I didn't know that was going to be the card that would come and save my bacon, but it did. So I'm really glad I got Leaf Rep Lembus. Now this quest punishes you for having allies. And I only have two allies on the board. They're both Master of Forges to help me dig out attachments. The whole deck that I built has a total of five allies. Three of these guys, two Warden of Healings. Okay, let's look at my hand. Alright, so in my hand I have one Deep Knowledge. I didn't play it. Uh, a Warden of Healing, which I didn't really need. Watchful Peace I put in here. Card you don't see too often. It says, after a location leaves play as an explored location, return it to the top of the encounter deck. If you're not engaged with any enemies, this is a really good card for this quest. Because... A couple of the quest stages say the first treachery revealed gains Surge. Even if it has Surge on it, it will get a double Surge. So if you're playing solo with no enemies engaged with you, 
you can guarantee that you're not going to reveal a treachery if you clear the location and put this on top of your deck. Very good tech. Um, this is my third playthrough. There's a condition that really wrecks you. So I put this card in my deck. I ended up not needing to use it. I've had it since my opening hand. Um, I would strongly encourage condition removal. At, at least a couple copies. Because that condition basically caused me to lose my second game. My first game I thought I won, but I realized I missed that surge trigger. So I played it again. Um, but yeah, there's a condition you want to remove. And then, uh, whoops. I just have a couple extra cards here. Let's look at my hero lineup. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, Frodo. Uh, green is willpower, so Frodo is currently at 5 willpower. I have Fellowship of the Ring, which gives 1 willpower to all your heroes. I also have Friend of Friends on him, so that's plus 2. And then I had played a Frodo's Intuition this round. So that gives him 3 willpower uh, in addition to his 2. Uh, he has 2 resources. Pippin has 1 damage, because at the beginning of the game, you actually have to damage people because of the location you're at. He has uh, 4 willpower two resources. Mary has four willpower, no resources, and one damage. He actually had Winfola on him for a lot of the game, <clears throat> and then I had to discard an attachment on control, so I discarded that because it was the best attachment to get rid of, so he's at five. And then Sam. 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 Yeah. This is how I beat this quest. You power up one hero with a ton of readying and you just let him do everything and I am so happy I don't know if it's a happy chance I don't know if this was the plan but having Sam being able to carry the load do most of the work just feels so dang thematic to me he has one damage uh, three defense five I'm sorry uh, seven resources and he's rocking 13 willpower how does he have 13 willpower uh, well first of all he gets his defensive bonuses from Tireless Ranger and Friend of Friends. Um, for Warren lets him get rid of the Shadow card. He gets his willpower from Friend of Friends. He has four songs. So that's plus five right there. Uh, Calibrian Stone is plus two more. So that's plus seven. And then he gets the boost from uh, the Fellowship of the Ring and Frodo's Intuition. I feel like I'm missing one here. One, two, three, four. Maybe he's only... Oh no, I gotta count. Song of Hope, Fireside Song, Song of Travel, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think he's a nine. Oh, I remember. I had him boosted up to ten because I engaged an enemy last round. So he's at nine, which is fine. Nine plus three, so he's actually uh, twelve. He's got the fast hitches on him, so I can use him four times around. Steward of Gondor helps pay for all this stuff. So that's why I have the Masters of the Forge in here, just to power him up with um, attachments. And he's been doing all the work, helping me with these fortitude tests. Very hard tests. So, let's get to the final turn. Okay, everybody, let's do the final turn. My beautiful wife is running the camera. Hi, Emily. Hi. Okay, I'm going to commit to the quest. So we got uh, 5, 9, 13. 13 plus 12 is 25. Yes, okay, 25 to the quest. I'm going to ready Sam right back up. I do remember why he's, his willpower is off. I had spent a resource on Song of Hope and I forgot to remove it. Okay, I'm going to reveal the card. It is a location that's 3 threat. So my threat in the staging area is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 against, what did I say, 25? So I make 9 progress. I clear this. So now I read this. When Mount Doom is explored, the first player makes a fortitude test. Okay. I'm going to discard an extra card. So Sam is going to commit to the fortitude test with his 12 willpower. I need to reveal... I'm sorry, I would say reveal. I need to discard six cards. Card number one. Two eyes. So one, two. Three, four. Five. Six, seven. 
Eight. Last card. Nine. Nine is less than uh, 12. So I have passed the fortitude test, which means I have completed the scenario. Now I need to take this quest card and we're going to see what happens on the other side, what I have to do to finish this campaign mode. Okay. Okay, resolution. Uh, the first player, that's me, must choose. This is the big test that Caleb was talking about. Um, I guess. Keep the one ring card and succumb to the power of Sauron, then the players lose the campaign. Not gonna happen. Uh, destroy the one ring card and defeat the power of Sauron, then the players win the campaign. Okay. I destroy the... Oh, like a legacy. So... So, okay, I have to... I have to actually destroy the one ring. Okay. Okay. After all... Why not? Why shouldn't I keep it? Uh, I think you should destroy that one ring card, Chad. Is that so hard? Well, no! And yes. Now we come to it. I don't feel like parting with it. It's mine. I bought it. It came to me! Well, there's no need to get angry about it. Well, if I'm angry, it's Caleb's fault! yours what I do with my own things! I think you've had that card quite long enough. You want it for yourself! Chad Garlinghouse, do not take me for some controlling wife who wants you to stop playing the game that you love. I am not trying to rob you. I am trying to help you. Okay. You're right. The ring must be destroyed. Follow me. Okay, here we are at the end of all things, or January in Michigan. It is negative 5 degrees F, which is negative 20 Celsius. And we're going to destroy the one ring. So I'm going to do it like so. Alright, let's do this. Might as well destroy it in a way I'm comfortable. Destroyed. Can't get enough of Cardboard of the Rings? Then check us out online at cardboardoftherings.com. There you can find links to all of our social media platforms, including Discord, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. If you're interested in supporting us, you can at patreon.com slash cardboardoftherings. Any amount helps, and it all goes back to the show and the community to make it even better than it already is. Thanks for listening.